uh, No More Heroes. Um, we've been checking out the website every day looking for updates. What can we... Uh, what do we have to look forward to on the website? I don't know. Mine is I don't Mine's coming. Um, actually, for me, I, I've been working very, very hard every day to develop the game. I haven't been into town in Tokyo very recently, and I came into town today. But we're working really, really hard to uh, release something really nice for America. Now, you've said in other interviews that the No More Heroes is influenced by Jodorowsky's film El Topo. Can you go into a little detail about what in that movie, what that weird, weird movie has uh, influenced you? So the influence is the fact that I just love the game. And it's a story about this killer, who, a guy who has to become a killer. And he has his own sort of will of how he operates, but he's influenced by other people's, you know, their, their volition and their will. And he's, you know, basically doing his best to kill, you know, as many people as he can, and I always just wanted to turn that into a game, and that's what, you know, I've, well, that's what I've been doing. Um, now, Jodorowsky has said El Topo was sort of his look at the uh, Book of Revelations from uh, the Bible. Is Are, are there any going to be any, uh, and you, you're filled, like Killer7 was filled with influences and uh, allusions. Um, are we going to see a lot of that showing up in No More Heroes? It's not the real sort of visual, revelation type visuals. It's more of a sampling of my influence, of my, what I've been influenced over the years, several things. They won't be like that in the end, sort of, you know, crazy re images of uh, revelation. Do you think we'll ever see Killer7 ported to the Wii? No, 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 no never. Is there anything else you'd like to add? So to the American audience, I'm really working hard to make the game that you want. Please look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you.